welcome to the Hyperspace Vault. Hello Star Wars collectors and fans. Today we're going to review Zuckus, the 6 inch Black Series figure uh, from Hasbro. This is a Disney Store exclusive and it was just released last week. So uh, Disney Store started selling Black Series figures and so far they got three exclusives. They got the Star Wars, or excuse me, the Stormtrooper Blast. Zuckus and um, Battle Damage Captain Phasma. So that's pretty cool, but that's um, we didn't see any other Black Series figures there, just these exclusives. And the Stormtrooper Blast was already sold out. So we're going to do a review on Zuckus today. He's a bounty hunter from The Empire Strikes Back in the famous scene when Darth Vader summons all the bounty hunters to come look for the Millennium Falcon. So he looks really cool. Um, Here's a close-up of the box. It's got some nice grayscale artwork there on the front. The thing is about the artwork is his head is a little like thinner than it is on the figure. Like you can see where his head ends on the on the artwork, but then you can see it's much wider on the figure up there. Uh, there's no number uh, since this is now a Disney Store exclusive. Originally, this was slated to be a Toys R Us exclusive. But it uh, ended up at Disney Store. There's the back of the box. Alex, would you like to read the back of the box? Yep. Zuckus. A Gand, Gond, uh, I'm just gonna say Gand, Bounty Hunter Zuckus heeded the Empire's call for mercenaries to locate the Millennium Falcon and bring her fugitive crew to justice, receiving his orders on the bridge of Darth Vader's Super Star Destroyer. Okay, let's get him opened up and let's take a closer look. I think Darth Vader's Star Destroyer was called the Executor. Is that what it was called? The Executor? I believe so. So if you're wondering uh, what kind of the Star Destroyer Super it was. Super Star Destroyer? Yeah, the Super Star Destroyer was called the Executor. And then, spoiler, uh, Admiral Piet took it over and returned to the Jedi. Right? I guess in Empire Strikes Back after uh, Admiral Oz, uh, Ozzel, Ozzel got uh, choked to death. Failed Darth Vader for the last time. <laughs> yeah. Okay, here he is in the um, blister pack. He comes with one accessory, a blaster rifle. Not sure what kind of blaster that is, but let's get him out of the blister pack. All right, we've got him free of the blister pack. And first impressions, this figure looks really cool. Hasbro did an excellent job with this figure. Um, he's dressed in a um, like a leather coat, cloak thing. It looks really dirty too. It's, um, they do a really good job with this material. It's kind of like it's really soft, and it's I guess it's kind of like a um, like a like some kind of real pliable vinyl, thin vinyl maybe. I'm not sure exactly what, what material they use there, but it's like really, it doesn't feel like vinyl when you touch it. It's like really soft. So it looks really cool on him. Um, we had to do a little research on Zuckus because we didn't know much about him other than he was a bounty hunter in Empire Strikes Back. So he is an insectoid. He has compound eyes and he, um, this thing in the front is a ammonia respirator because he breathes ammonia. So whenever he's in... Uh, oxygen environments he has to I guess wear this ammonia bottles to breathe in the ammonia so that's really cool and um, also according to the Star Wars character encyclopedia he is a uh, force wielder that was exciting like here that is like I can't believe that a bounty hunter is a force wielder I just thought that was so surprising like Especially Zuckus, like, no one barely knows about Zuckus. Comment down below if you knew that he was a force wielder, because I didn't know that. Did you? Did you know that? No, not until we uh, read about him in the yeah, I, character encyclopedia. I didn't know that at all. Okay, Alex, what do you think about this figure? So, so it's a really good figure. I'm actu I am actually like it a lot. Like, his blaster, it fits into his... Uh, it fits into his uh, hands well, and his like head sculpt looks exactly like it looks in the pictures that you can look up on the internet, and 
like the tank it looks really cool like you can see the silver inside of there and it, it's just really cool and like the leather on here and then this little metal thing in the back um, I don't know what it is actually it has like a little tube on it it looks so detailed like Hasbro did a great job on this like you can see his ears in the back. I guess that's his ears because I don't know where else he would have ears. Awesome boots. Like detailed and dirty looking boots. Yeah, up underneath, yeah, he has boots. You can kind of peel this away a little bit and you can kind of see. He's got boots. It's like a little armor that straps around there, like a little leather armor. <sighs> okay, real quick, I'm going to uh, take a look at his articulation. He does have jointed elbows. Um, they work really well. He has uh, his wrists do swivel and rotate. He does have a um, shoulder that rotates. It's kind of hindered by this, this outfit. His head uh, turns side to side and up and down slightly. Um, he does have double jointed knees and they can be fully articulated. Um, and he's on a swivel ankle in rotation. So pretty good articulation even though he has this this um, cloak thing on. Um, you can still pose him up. He, he's, he has three fingers so um, it's kind of hard to pose him with the gun. He just kind of holds the gun, kind of like in the movie. So with those three fingers, you're kind of limited on what he can do with those. So, But overall, very very good articulation, considering this outfit that he's in. So now we're going to go over the details in the gun. So um, it has like this little stick thing that goes down here. I guess it's for him to put his hand on. And you can see a little like bump on top of there so he can aim like on the top of the tip yeah, of the, the gun. Sight. And then um, right here, like right about there, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little um, brown paint right there. Which actually, which actually puts a large amount of detail into the gun. Okay, I'm going to rate this figure five stars. Um, he's a must-have, especially um, if you're collecting the Bounty Hunters. Um, he's definitely a must-have. Um, and also, he's an original trilogy figure. So, to me, that's a must-have, too, because um, all the original tr trilogy figures are, are pretty cool. Um, he looks great. Hasbro did an excellent job on him um, with... Uh, I'm gonna call them soft goods. Um, it's kind of like a little. I don't. I don't know how to describe it, but it's it's kind of like soft goods. But um, and also the uh, the the his battle armor and these tentacles and all this stuff is really well detailed. Excellent looking figure. Alex, what do you think? So I think on a scale to one to ten, I would give this a figure. I, I would give this figure a 10 because, like Dave said, it is a must-have. Um, I agree with Dave. It is a must-have, but also it is a must-have because you could also, like, just pose him up in different ways. Like, you can pose him up like he's running. You can pose him up, like, basically anything. Which you could do with the other figures, but but the thing is, you just got this one, so now you can pose it up with with that figure. Okay, we set up a little diorama with our uh, other bounty hunter and Darth Vader, um, kind of like a little mini scene where Darth Vader's giving them instructions. Um, also, uh, with these other figures, you can kind of see how short Zuckus is, which I didn't really notice off first offhand until we put these other figures up there that he's pretty short. Okay, here they are uh, lined up um, side by side. That way you can get the proper perspective uh, and you can see exactly how short he is, which is really, 
really weird because I didn't realize he was that short. Hmm. All right, that wraps up this video. Please leave us a comment below. And Alex? May the force be with you. Always. Oh.